Today we're going to look at algebraic proofs. We're going to use everything that we've talked about in logic, conditional statements, um, syllogism, deductive reasoning. We're going to begin to prove things. I actually talked about proving things. Now in 2.5, we did talk a little bit about uh, paragraph proofs. Uh, we're going to basically be using formal proofs, two-column formal proofs, uh, pretty much all the time. So we're going to start looking at those today. In order to do that, we need to review some things out of algebra, some properties, universal properties, called postulates, properties, whatever you want to. But they're very basic things and rules that we use in order to do algebra. And we're going to transfer those over into the geometric area, of angles and segments. First one is a reflexive property. I call it the mirror property. It is A equals A. I equal myself. Notice there's only one thing here. I call that a one. Symmetric property. If A equals B, then the reverse is also true. B equals A. I call that the identical twin property. Two items, if one looks like the other, then the other looks like the first. If Sue and Sally are identical twins, then Sue looks like Sally and Sally looks like Sue. Transitive property, if A equals B and B equals C, then A equals C. <clears throat> I call that the Sue, Sally, and, I don't know, Sue, Sally, and Alice. If Sue looks like Sally, and Sally looks like Alice, then Sue looks like Alice. Three of the identical triplet property. Okay? Notice that this is RST. One, two, three. Reflexive, one thing. Symmetric, two things. Transitive, three things. RST, one, two, three. That's how I remember it. Other properties, very simple. Added subtraction property. If A equals B, then I can say A plus C equals B plus C, and A minus C equals B minus C. Multiplication and division property, the same thing. If A equals B, then A times C equals B times C, and A divided by C equals B divided by C. Substitution property. If A equals B, then B may replace A anywhere I want it to. If they are the same, then I can reuse, use either one of them wherever I want to. Distributed property. A times the quantity B plus C equals A times B plus A times C. And A times B plus A times C equals A times the quantity of A plus C. These are the properties, algebraic properties, that we use to do algebraic equations, to solve algebraic equations, and basically to prove algebraic equations. Now we're going to take some of these and move them into the, the geometry area. Now we've taken the reflexive, symmetric, and transitive properties from the algebraic expressions and moved them to geometric expressions. So here's the property. We use it in segments and we use it in angles. What does it look like and what does it mean? Reflexive property simply means the measurement of AB equals the measurement of AB. A segment is equal to itself. The length of a segment is equal to the length of itself. In angles, the measurement of angle 1 equals the measurement of angle 1. Same thing. Look in a mirror see the same thing. Now, in symmetric, remember 1, 2, 3. This has one thing, entity. This has two entities. Notice these are also expressed in if-then conditional statements. So we're using all that logic that we started with. If the measurement of segment AB equals the measurement of segment CD, then the measurement of segment CD equals the measure of segment AB. Okay? 
How does it look like in an angle? If the measurement of angle 1 equals the measurement of angle 2, then the measurement of angle 2 equals the measurement of angle 1. Identical twin A looks like identical twin B, then identical twin B looks like identical twin A. And the transitive property for geometric entities. If the measurement of segment AB equals the measurement of segment CD, and the measurement of segment CD equals the measurement of segment EF, then the measurement of segment AB equals the measurement of segment EF. Okay, again, have one, two, three different entities. All right, the first two are equal, and the second and third are equal, then the first and the third are equal. What does it look like in the angle? If the measurement of angle one equals measurement of angle two, and the measurement of angle two equals the measurement of angle three, then the measurement of angle one equals the measurement of angle three. Okay, again, one, two, three. The entities, how many we got? It starts with R, S, T, one, two, three. Three entities with these. That's how I remember them. Come up with some way where you can remember what these properties are and what they go with. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take these properties and we're going to use them, number one, to do some uh, examples with algebra. Okay? So we're going to take regular old common algebraic equations and we're going to solve them using the properties that we have. Uh, I'll show you how we do this. <clears throat> would hate to uh, do this for your homework, so let me make sure that we uh, get the proper papers and uh, do the proper examples.